When prosecutors asked the court last Friday to allow them to introduce evidence in 10 murders Williams is not charged with committing, they said they would be able to establish a pattern so obvious it has captured the attention of the Western world, and they seem to have been fairly successful. Last week, the prosecution linked Williams with one of the young men he is charged with killing, Nathaniel Cater, but as testimony progressed this week, witnesses were also able to link him with five other victims, Luby Jeter, Jojo Bell, Larry Rogers, Terry Pugh, and today, William Barrett. Witnesses have also testified they saw Williams at the funerals of Terry Pugh, Larry Rogers, and Bubba Duncan and spotted him on the scene the day Terry Pugh's body was found in Rockdale County. The prosecution has also tried to establish sex as both a pattern and a motive in the slayings. One witness, a teenager whose name was withheld, said Williams paid him in exchange for sexual favors. And another, 24-year-old Kent Heinzman, says Williams asked him whether he was gay and whether he ran the streets all the time. Heinzman also testified Williams handed him a now famous note which said, I could be president, I could be mayor, or I could be a killer. The prosecution is expected to rest its case on Monday or Tuesday. Then it will be time for defense attorneys to take over, and it is expected that they will direct most of their energies toward discrediting the prosecution's witnesses. Many of the prosecution's witnesses have been confused about locations and dates. One woman testified she saw victim Terry Pugh with Williams last April, which would have been at least three months after Pugh was found dead. Another witness, nicknamed Cool Breeze, admitted to smoking marijuana just before he took the stand. And one of the state's most credible witnesses, Mrs. Nellie Trammell, says she knew who Williams was because her church is right across the street from Williams' house. But when I checked with the church pastor today, he told me Mrs. Trammell is not a member of his church, and neither he nor any of his assistants ever heard of her until they read her name in the newspaper this morning. Besides all this, the defense plans to bring in a battery of pathological experts like Broward County, Florida medical examiner Ronald Wright to dispute what they call the inconsistencies in the state's medical evidence. And they will also continue to try to link convicted murderer Anthony Amp Wiley with some of the deaths. But even if the defense is successful in poking some holes in the prosecution's case, the damage may already be done. The evidence linking Williams with the victims, victims he once said he never knew, has been overwhelming. And even though prosecuting attorneys may not have proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that Williams is a killer, they have created an impression of guilt, an impression defense attorneys may find very difficult to dispel. At the Fulton County Courthouse, B.B. Emmerman, Action News.